Testosterone is the male hormone, and when you get it right, it bleeds into all other areas of your life. Get it wrong however, and it leads to a hell of a lot of problems, as we're currently seeing with most modern-day men, even much younger men. Including? Lower confidence. Poor relationships. Muscle loss. Fat gain. Anxiety. Depression. Worsened mood. Lethargy. And much more. So it's important that you get your testosterone on point, and I'm going to give you several very effective tips that you may never have heard of or thought of. 1. Power poses. This is something that is relatively new to me, but they do work. Studies have been done on this, and they absolutely do increase testosterone and decrease cortisol. It was Alexander Cortez who said that physicality and mentality are one and the same the two are very heavily correlated, and I couldn't agree more. Your actions affect your mindset, and it's the same reason you feel great after a good workout, lifting or cardio. So get into the habit of practicing these. They need to be expansive stances, chest out, head up, and exaggerated. Hold them for at least 30 seconds. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results. 2. Fighting. Similarly to lifting, this is a very primal act that will really increase testosterone. Obviously we want to keep this legal and stay out of prison, so martial arts are your best option as opposed to street fights. The very act of fighting is important, but in addition to this, the knowledge that you can handle yourself in social situations is a very valuable bonus. I recommend boxing for this, not Brazilian jiu-jitsu, if you go to ground in a real-life fight, you're going to get your head kicked in by the other guy's friends. I find it astounding how such an obvious reality is completely ignored by Brazilian jiu-jitsu fans. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is excellent for one-on-one, -on -one, but you will almost never get one-on-one -on -one in real life. Boxing teaches you to stay on your damn feet, which is exactly what you need to be doing. 3. No fap. Something that's gained a lot of traction online recently is the concept of not masturbating. Ever. And it works. Now, you could argue that these guys just need to get laid, and that's their main problem, and I would agree. But, this stuff does work on top of getting laid. So yes, stop watching porn and stop masturbating. 4. Cold showers. Again, this is another one that's gained some traction online, and I completely endorse it. Now, does this mean that every shower you take should be cold? Personally, I think that would be horrendous. It's nice to wake up and have a nice hot shower. But what I do recommend is timing these with your workouts. What I do is have an intense lifting session which already has me in a pumped high testosterone state, and then I'll have contrast, hot cold, showers and use the sauna. It's a great combination and will leave you feeling great for a long time afterwards. 5. Sex. This one's pretty obvious, but an interesting study is done a while back on older men simply flirting with younger women. And the result? A 13% increase in testosterone. Pretty nice, and it's not difficult to do. 6. Vitamin D A huge percent of people in the Western world are either deficient in vitamin D or damn close to it. Especially if you're in the UK, Canada or Scandinavia. This is a problem because a deficiency in this area is one of the fastest ways to having low testosterone, so you want to make sure you're covering your bases here 2000 to 5000 IUs per day should do it, but it's worth getting blood work done. Combine this with an ideal intermittent fasting diet, and your hormonal health will completely transform. Summary. As you can see, there's some great ways to increase testosterone naturally, and it's a very important topic, because without it, you are less of a man in many areas. This is science, not just ego. Put these tips into action and get them into your weekly routine, and I'm not joking your life will improve in just about every way.